So on the refresh Model 3, um, a lot of the other cars, even the S and X, now have the front-facing camera. So can owners uh, expect maybe a future update with one? <laughs> and you know, what are some of the technical or design considerations behind that decision? You know, in the pandemic, when we had all the shortages, we got rid of all the ultrasonics and went full on on vision and got rid of radar. Like, you know, we did that real quick, and then uh, I think we realized there was a couple of blind spots, um, and one of the most you know, uh, biggest was right in front of the bumper because the triple cam or now the dual cam, you know, doesn't see a couple feet um, in front of the screen. So you know, we decided to add a face cam there for, primarily for like, you know, just, that, you know, kind of slow speed driving uh, capability. And um, the, the, you know, that the autopilot system doesn't actually use it. It, it. it uses inference to know what was in front of the car before it pulls up. Um, but it's super useful for humans, and like taking that into account and putting it into the FSD system, it's, it's even better. But um, I think you know it was really just listening to feedback from customers that said like, I really want to see what's in front of my car. Okay, we'll put a camera. Um, and it wasn't that hard of a decision to make. And yeah, I guess the first one we put it on was a Cybertruck, and that was like for off-roading. I think Wes made us do that. He's <laughs> around here somewhere. And then and then we just kind of proliferated it. And you know, I. I, I I guess I can't say for certain it will come in Model 3 at some point, but like it followed the trend line, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's heading that way.